evening, everyone. My name is Aston Chin, and I have been a junior reading ambassador since 2008, as you can see on my name here. And I am here to tell all of you a story titled Conejito, a folk tale from Panama. This story has some Spanish words in it. You can join me along as I say it as well, if you can recite. And I must say, I'm honored to be here with so many of you. And now, please wait while I go to the magical dressing room. As in, turn behind my back. One day, Mama Bunny told Little Bunny Conejito, Conejito, my little bunny, it is vacation time. And you can go up the mountain and visit your auntie, your tia Monica. And she'll feed you cookies, cakes, and everything yummy. And so, Conito went up the mountain, singing and leaping. Baliendo y saltando. I have a sweet old auntie, my tia Monica. And when she goes up dancing, they all say, ooh la la. When, wonk, he went right into Senor Zorro, Mr. Fox. Senior Zorro licked his lips. He wanted to eat Conejito for lunch. Conejito said, Oh, no, 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 Senior Zorro. Do not eat me. I'm Flaquito, Flaquito. Wait till I go to my dear Monica's house. She'll feed me cookies, cakes, and everything yummy. Then I'll be Cortito, Gordito, Gordito. Fat, fat, fat. Senior Zorro thought, Hmm. Come on, no. and let him off the, up the mountain. And so, Conito went dancing and leaping again. Polyendo ye saltando. I have a sweet old auntie, my tia Monica. And when she goes out dancing, they all say, ooh la la. When wonk, he went right into his auntie, his tia Monica. And soon they danced and leaped around. And Conito asked, Tia Monica, are you going to feed me cookies, cakes, and everything yummy? Yes, Conejito. But I will also give you fruits, vegetables, and fresh mountain water. Like all good parents do. <laughs> and so, Conejito played and ate, played and ate. Nothing much to do as a rabbit. Until it was time to go home. Conejito felt sad, but he knew to return to his mama. But then he remembered Senor Zorro and told his Tia Monica about Senor Zorro. The Tia Monica thought for a while and shouted, I have an idea. I will light a small fire at the top of the hill, making it look like there's a real fire on the hill. Then you, Konehito, will be inside this barrel and you'll be rolled down the hill and you will tell everyone that there's a fire on the hill. That way, no one will eat you. Konehito thought about it and said, That's a brilliant idea, Tia Monica. You are the most brilliant bunny I've ever known. Besides my mother. <laughs> and so, Konehito went in the barrel. Tia Monica pushed him and he rolled down the mountain. Rodando, rodando, rodando. Wonk. He went right into Senor Zorro. Senor Zorro asked, Little barrel, little barrel. Have you seen Conejito? Run, run, Senor Zorro, said Conejito from inside the barrel. Run for your life. The mountain is on fire. If you don't run quick, you'll become barbecue. And so, Senor Zorro, upon hearing that, was very shocked and ran down the mountain as quickly as he could, fearing to be burned. And so, Conejito in the barrel continued rolling down the hill. Rodando, rodando, rodando. When wonk, he ran right into his mama. And so, his mama asked, Little barrel, little barrel, have you seen Conejito? Conejito popped out of the barrel and said, Here I am. And so, they leaped and danced again. Bunnies like to dance. And so, his mama asked, Conejito, did you eat cookies, cakes, and everything yummy? Yes, I did, but my tia Monica also gave me fruits, vegetables, 
and fresh mountain water. And she said that every parent will do that. I hope. And so, his mama said, Wow, what a good yeah, Monica we had. And they done some more. I hope you've enjoyed my story because I enjoyed it telling it to you. Thank you.